Hello dear students, let us understand what is FACP. So this is functional assessment checklist for programming and uh, this was developed by National Institute for the Mentally Handicapped. Now present is called NIEPID that is National Institute for Empowerment of Intellectual uh, Disability. Okay, so they have developed this checklist for intellectual disability and also for so this checklist was uh, you know designed for specifically intellectual disability as I said but here we need to um, uh, remember uh, five important points as it is mentioned so in this tool okay it is very easy to understand whatever the item they have given and the activity which has been mentioned in this it is related to the daily living and day-to-day -day activity you can observe easily because these activities are so simple you can observe very easily and all the items from primary to pre occasional it is fixed with the age appropriate as far as possible and 100% this all activity uh, you know will give the child competency to live independently in the society okay so this is the main five points um, they have kept in the mind and developed this checklist for a welfare of intellectual disability and let us look a uh, grouping of students see here grouping is done based on the ability and chronological age okay in a different level such as from pre-primary to pre occasion this is this checklist is still pre-primary and they have additional care group okay they have a different curriculum for the occasional uh, you know student who are above 18 years that we will discuss that is called VAPS that we will discuss later and as I said, they have a different levels in this. So let, let us skip this and let us go and understand. I will explain you all this, the age groups and the caregiver groups as well. So let us see this flow chart, which is very, very important to understand. This flow chart is a procedure and a promotion criteria for children with intellectual disability. Now you can see, see, this is how the flow chart look when I minimize this. You can see this. Is this is a whole flow chart you can see in the different special school as well you know they follow this all over india and this is quite simple flow chart where you all can understand okay so let us understand one by one this this starts from the you know pre primary now you can see the pre primary you know the age group is 3 to 6 years so the children before that there is also early childhood special education you know block where they have a different curriculum and they focus differently so pre primary so this pre primary the age range is so as i said that uh, pre primary the age range is 3 to 6 years and those children who are you know admitted in pre primary the age range will be this as it is mentioned in the flow chart and after 3 years see remember one child has to stay in each class for three years that means three years he has to take the education okay so that's why it is three three years if you see seven to ten then nine to fourteen then other okay so if the child achieves the pre-primary curriculum or the pre-primary domains which is mentioned in pre-primary checklist about 80 percent then directly he will be shifted in primary one okay and if the child is not able to achieve the 80 percent then you can see here you know the child will be shifted in primary two okay so the child who achieves above 80 percent they will be shifted in primary one where you have again all five domains which is called your personal social academics recreational and occupational okay it has been arranged in an order as well i will show you that so um here what happened the primary one the age range that means now the child is seven to ten years again if the child achieves primary one curriculum then he will be shifted to secondary that means the child age range will be your 11 to 14 years now as you now as you can see here the child who have not achieved 80% from pre-primary he shifted to primary 2. Now here you have two sections where is primary 1, primary 2. 
the age range is 9 to 14 years of primary to where they have given additional support that means pre primary those who have not achieved they shift to primary 2 whereas the curriculum of pre primary and primary 2 will be resemblance that means that it will be an extension of pre primary uh, okay curriculum now if the child is able to achieve directly from primary 1 he will be shifted to secondary as i said and the child is not able to achieve you know um, from primary 2 the child is not able to achieve uh, 80 percent then directly he will be moving to pre occasional to this one because the pre occasional two the two levels uh, curriculum that is pre occasional two and primary two is lower level the content will be uh, lower to their level okay but from secondary if the child is able to achieve 80 percent again then pre occasional one that means pre occasional that means the age range of pre occasional one is 15 to 18 years if the child is not able to achieve the secondary level 80 percent then pre occasional two so this flowchart is quite simple now after pre occasional one and pre occasional two if the child is able to achieve the pre occasional one curriculum then the child will be moving directly to the occasional training and if the child is not able to uh, move to the you know and not able to achieve the pre occasional two curriculum or less than 80 percent then occasional training now the question must come in your mind even if the child achieves and even if he doesn't achieve he is reaching to the occasional training see now the question the answer is here the occasional training again they have a different phases okay whereas pre occasional two students will go to phase one where they teach work readiness skills okay so as i said this is divided as per the age and the level and the ability so that's why they will go to phase one where they will do the uh, they will make the child to learn work readiness skills and then only they will be promoting to the trade occasional training it doesn't mean directly uh, you know giving uh, training in a certain trades they also have the uh, procedure follow proceed follow up procedure that we will discuss in another video okay see after occasional training after occasional training what happened here the child will be placed in open employment sheltered employment or supported employment okay so this is the whole process how it looks as you can see it's very simple and clear with this flow chart and they have additional call your care group here you can see this is a care group okay so here what happened separate group for you know who is very severe no uh, uh what do you say profound intellectual disability for them it is a care group so they will uh, the special educators will be preparing uh, the child you know, to take care to maintain their skills at least so that is your care group okay so this is a, a quite simple flow chart which you can see here okay so let us move to the next one this is all a content and formats which they have given so in this i like to tell you uh, how to use this checklist they have a plus here uh, oc means occasional q and uh, bp is verbal prompt P pp is physical prompt then minus is no na is not acceptable and no is no exposure that means you will be using these prompts to tell whether the child is able to achieve or not what is the current level of the child in particular item in particular domains okay so that you can see and the scoring procedure is quite simple you have to count all as as uh, which the child has achieved and then you need to and then you will be counting whether the child has achieved this many percentage or not okay so this is how you're going to do now let us see and this is the recreational see this those prompts those prompts this prompts your you know plus verbal prompt physical prompt no exposure you will be using till occupational skills there is in recreational skills these are the scoring criteria a b c d e 
that means a takes the initiative and participate effectively b participates when you know other initiate c is involved self but not aware of the rules d observe with interest and e is not interest so we will see this we will see this is well uh, in this video i am not able to show you the sample a written sample but in other video i will show you the sample then you can you know, have a, a clear cut idea so let us see here now this is the checklist of pre primary okay so you have to write the child's name additional information of the child is you know down syndrome or have adhd or any other characteristics age of the child as you know the age group is 3 to 6 years so you have to write this and the date of evaluation that means first year okay so this is a first year then you have second year and third year so every year you have a returns so in entry level you are going to write the date for example today's date you can write and what is the score entry level score let us say 10 percent and in the first term when you evaluate after three months the child reach at 50 percentage okay total score you have to write uh, here and percentage total score might be for example if uh, uh, in a personal domain in a personal domain if you have 20 items so out of 20 how much he has independently achieved then you will write 20 uh, 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 10 out of 20 in total score so that means it is 50 percent in uh, entry level and then first uh, first term you will be uh, you know uh, again scoring after teaching then you will be seeing the difference in the percentage now this is the domains okay so let's see here chewing so here you are going to just mention a plus whether chewing and swallow solid food when placed in his mouth if it is independent plus if it is not independent or he is doing with the physical prompt he is doing with the verbal prompt then you have to write pp or pp or he is not never exposed then n or it is for example holds uh, eat, uh, I will tell you some content uh, like you know the content like those uh, which is not applicable for the girls then you have to write not applicable okay like for example their frocks if you are assessing to the male that means a boy that means that content is not applicable right so you are you are going to write NA and see here there are different no? 20 21 22 they have just left out that means that means it is not uh, uh, you know written the statement is not written so what you will do you can write your own so they have given this flexibility addition deletion for example the wearing the frock that means that is not applicable to the uh, male then what you have is wearing a shop so in that way you can add your items to 25 okay this is how you're going to do so this is how you're going to do the uh, you know uh, um, what is a uh, finding out the assessment this is how you're going to mark uh, with uh, again the items okay so this is clearly they have mentioned uh, you know the key uh, plus means independent oc means so uh, occasional okay, oh, okay, so q is uh, not applicable any is your uh, no no exposure so these are all kind of things you're going to mark beside you know each items this is how you're going to mark and then first year second year third year this is where you're going to write the entry level like you know in entry level plus then uh, item number two bp verbal form physical form so this is how you're going to mark here okay and then this is a performance level Similarly, you will have in social skills, academic skills, occupational skills, and then you're going to mark. As I said, if there if you have a 20 items in personal skills, out of 20, how much? 10. Then entry level is 50 percent. Then again, first term after three months, you're going to evaluate. Whereas here you see recreational. Okay, in recreational you have a A, a and B. I will show you where is recreational. This is social. Okay, I will show you yeah yeah for example this is recreational don't so watch tv and advertisement so here you're not going to mark plus minus or any here you're going to mark a b c c here for example if uh, for, for example let us say outdoor game play with a ball that means if you want to mark a 
then if the child is doing take initiative and participate effectively if he if he does that then you mark a or if you want to mark b then participate effectively when initiated when you initiate then he will participate he will not initiate independently okay then if you want to mark c involves in a game self but not aware of the rules he involves without permission but he is not aware of the rules then in that way you are going to mark d just observe like a audience interest and uh, sorry e is not interested he is not interested in playing the ball so you are going to mark this and when you score you know when you score in the uh, yeah, sorry I will show you where it is in this then you are going to write here in recreational in a recreational uh, column you have to write a overall average if out of 5 if all a's are there then a okay so you have to take an average and you have to write the child is good in recreational activity. So this is how you are going to uh, you know, assess the FACP checklist. It is very simple. In the next video, I will try to share one sample FACP so that you can understand better. If you have any queries, just let me know and just ping me or you can just comment or you know if uh, you can download this, just type uh, FACP and EPID, you will get in the Google. It's very easy and simple, okay, to understand. So, okay, till then, bye bye.